Hey guys, what's up? It's part two of how to build a trench. Uh, this one right here that you're looking at is the one that we started off last time. I have made no changes to it except I, I um, flipped this one around from the uh, flat one to ones of studs. You can put flat ones on; it doesn't really matter. We will be adding detail to it at the end, though. So stick around for that. Um. Yeah. So I'll kind of give you a gist of what else we're going to be doing. Um. I can just get these pieces. There we go. So instead of that, a flat piece down there, like I said I was going to. And then down the end, place these long bricks. So that's basically it. Now on the sides, I don't like showing the insides of it, so we are going to cover that up first. We are going to detail the top, so I'm not going to show you a video on how to detail the top because all I would be saying was be random and that would be the video, so yeah. So yeah, just keep on placing the bricks, whatever you want really, it does not matter one bit. I have done a better one than this, but it's not that bad. Make sure to show your families. Okay. So that's pretty much done. Now, for a trench, everyone knows that a, before a trench, there's usually barbed wire. In my case, I don't have the silver ones. I only have the gold ones. So what basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to place one there, one down there, one there, one down there. Like that. So that, it's not that bad. Okay, now we're going to cover it up. Now, if you don't have many of uh, one, one by twos, one by fours, one by sixes, one by eights, stuff like that, you can just do it with any other color, but they all have to be the same if you want it to look good. So, in my case, I'm going to use black bricks. Pick up some here. I do have the bricks, but just for the people that don't, just show them that it does look good. So basically, just place it all around the outsides. doesn't really matter well yeah it doesn't matter the order that you place these in
And we're gonna run along the outside after we've done this. Please. So, anyone else in the room? Tell them to go sort out some bricks. <sighs> now, let's see, there's a reason I left this crack here. We'll get to that later. See, it still looks good. Still kind of looks like an exhibition now with uh, my barbed wire up the front. And my black around the outsides. Nearly there. Like I said it's not that hard. There, one more brick, and there we go. So, that's basically the gist of your trench. You can have a massive one if you want that goes like, I can't even fit on the camera, like that long if you want, for a massive, massive mock, or you can have one that size. It doesn't really matter. So now we're gonna put, get these, just, Place them on the outside. Go on. Go in then. Remember, like I told you, be random. Like this piece. Then put it there. Like I said, doesn't really matter. Actually, a tip if you want to put some lights on the back, I'll show you right now. Get bricks like these, and you can put them on the back. It actually looks pretty cool with lights, so I would recommend it. Just get some more bricks. There we go, looking good. There, so it's all random, and since it looks random, it's really good. Now, coming up to the end. You might even want to have some bricks like these overhanging the edges. Okay. So that's basically what I've done on the back. Very, very simple. If you have any grey studs, it doesn't have to be square, it can be round as well. Put it Put it on the outside, we'll come to that later. Actually, leave a gap here. Because remember, we have that hole in the back. Okay, so, done your top. It's looking good. Now, we are just going to make it look a lot better. So, we want to get some random studs. So, if you think about it. If you've seen anyone with mocks, they all have just random studs, black and usually grey, sometimes black, sometimes other colours. But it looks really, really good. So I'll just scatter these around. Like so. That's why we put that grey one on the side.
go. Put some down the front. Turned out better than I expected. Hope yours looks good as well. You can even put them on the sides here. So there we go. Um, now we're going to put some more details up the front. So, like a box maybe for ammunition. Put that. We'll take that grey bit off. Put the box there. It is looking real nice right now. And maybe if you want to put anything in the box like a gun, guns, hatchets, bricks, whatever. I'm just going to put two guns in there and a brick. Good. So it's turned out pretty well. Um, now if you want to make it even look looks even better, take some of these wheels. If you don't have any wagon wheel, it doesn't really matter. It still looks good. Just put that down the bottom. If you if you'll go in. One, there you go. So, see, I put a box there, a wagon wheel. It just spices the place up a bit, makes it look a little bit better. Now, maybe you can put a wheel over there. Still looks awesome. Now, now I'll show you why I put that pole there. So. If you have one of these, I know most people have a black version, I have a grey version. Um, put it through the hole and stick it on the stud. So now it looks like you have like a radio station somewhere out there. It looks very, very neat. Or even, actually I'll go grab a hatchet. Catch it just lying around the place. Uh, now we're going to put our figures in. Actually, no, we'll put the stalks in first. So, just to spice this place up a bit, a bit of greenery in there. Stalks, there's also bamboo leaves. People have a lot of bamboo leaves. I'm just putting in stalks because I think it looks a bit better, but people have different opinions, so it's okay. Put that one back there, that one at the front, and then maybe one down here. So there, it is looking pretty cool actually. So, yep, yeah, so now I'll put my characters in. I have. The Obi Wan can be jet fighter or fighter pilot, sorry. And uh, I'll give you a tip: put crystals on one of these big guns. It makes it look like they're firing. So we'll put Obi Wan Kenobi. Actually, we'll we'll give him a smaller gun. We'll give him a smaller. There we go. Standard blaster rifle. And then we'll put them there. So, that is pretty much your base. All around the side, see, I've put the black telecoms. It looks really neat, really mint. And I think. You could use this in your future mocks. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll make a new video soon.